The bench press is a great compound movement for developing the upper body, but more importantly, you look pretty badass if you're performing a big bench in the gym. And more often than not, if you're talking to somebody about working out, you know what their first question is going to be. What do you bench? Well, you tell first. If you're watching this video, you are likely someone that trains hard in the gym and you're interested in seeing how your strength compares to other gym goers. So I'm going to share a few different standards to show what level your strength is at, as well as providing a few useful tips to help considerably improve your bench press. Now, rightly or wrongly, how much you can bench is still seen as an important strength standard. The NFL, for example, still uses the 225 bench test, and this is how many reps you can get with a 225 pound barbell, and there are some crazy numbers. For example, the baseline for linemen is 30 to 39 reps. I think I struggle to get that many reps from just a bar. The first standard is based on your gender and weight and comes from symmetric strength. So this table classifies the weight you can lift into different categories based on your body weight and ranks your lifts from untrained all the way through to world class. Now I rarely test my one rep max on bench press, but for the purposes of this video and for science, I had a few attempts and was quite surprised to lift 265 pounds, which is 120 kilograms. Now I weigh just over 190 pounds, so using the table, I can see that I'm just within the proficient category, but a long way off the advanced categories. If I was just concerned with hitting the numbers, so if I was powerlifting, for example, I'm pretty confident that I could get into the advanced category, but realistically, that would be my limit. Of course, this table is based on men, so there is also the same table for women, but obviously with modified figures. The second standard is based on age and applies to both men and women, and these are in increments of 10 years. So someone aged 20 to 29 who is trained should be able to bench their own body weight, whereas for someone in their 50s, they should be able to bench press 75% of their body weight. I'm in my 40s, shocking, I know. So with a 265 pound bench press at 190 pounds, I'm lifting around 140% of my body weight. So I prefer this standard. So an opportunity now for the keyboard warriors. Let me know in the comments below how much you can bench along with your weight, age, and training experience. Now in terms of improving your bench press, there are lots of videos out there that can give you some really great advice, but here are my top three tips. Number one is to make sure you're using good form, good technique. Bench press isn't just about moving the weight from A to B. There are a lot of factors to consider to get the most out of the movement from your hand position, your setup, the bar path, your breathing, the list goes on and on. And the compound effect of getting all of these things right can make a really big difference. Most importantly, however, having good form is the best way of preventing injury and long-term training adherence is going to get you the best results. Number two is to make sure you're following a progressive strength training program and actually tracking your progress. A lot of people will just head out into the gym without a plan and over time, they don't really know if they're making any progress. Again, there are lots of great strength training programs to choose from, but if you don't know which one to go for, you can't really go wrong with something like the 5x5 program. The third and final tip is to find a good spotter. A good spotter will help in lots of ways, the first being there to stop you from dying if you reach failure. I trade from home by myself, so I will always stop two to three reps away from failure. Now this is my perceived rate of exertion, and although I think I might only have two to three reps left, in reality, I might be able to push much further past this if I had a spotter. A good spotter will also notice mistakes in your form that you might not even be aware of and help you correct them. And finally, Having someone watch you and maybe even compete with you if you're at a similar level can really provide that extra motivation to push yourself further than you would alone. If you enjoyed this video, then mash that subscribe button with your big gnarly gym fingers and check out some of the other great content on this channel.